Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at audio editing in iMovie 11. So iMovie 11 introduces some new audio features. So let's learn how to edit audio in iMovie 11. So here I have a project and I've placed a clip in the main project area at the top. I can switch it to a single row view, which is kind of like a timeline, by clicking here. Then I can turn on the audio waveform viewer by clicking this button in the middle of the screen. Now I can see the audio waveform at the bottom. Now the first thing I want to show you is volume control. So you can grab the line here which gives you the volume for the entire track and drag it up or down and you can see a percentage. This is nothing new. You could have done this in the audio inspector in iMovie 09. Well, what is new is that you can select just the audio area by clicking on it and select a section of it like this and then adjust the volume for only that section. And you can see what's happened. I've lowered it for just that section there. And I have small little handles here and I can actually drag out the fade in and fade out for that section. And I can continue to do that for other sections as well. Say increasing the volume on this one. Say decreasing the volume here. And I can also grab the line here, selecting the entire movie clip and drag it up and down. You can see it changes the non specialized areas. These stay the same while the overall volume for the rest of the track will change. And I can reselect any one of these sections here, change its handles, even change the area of the volume change. Now as before I could also detach the audio by uh, selecting Clip Detach Audio. I can mute the entire clip and I can remove all the volume adjustments that I've made just like that. Now I can also add audio effects. I can select the track and hit I for the inspector. So you can see the inspector uh, is clip, video, and audio. And you would think you go to audio for audio effects, but in fact, for effects, you stay on the clip side and you have the audio effect pop up here. And there's many things you can choose. Just some basic stuff here for some special effects that you could play with. In addition, you can also go to the audio inspector here and there are many things that you can change. You have the ability now to reduce background noise. So uh, this is pretty simplified for iMovie, so it may not work in all cases, but you can check that off and then select a percentage and try different amounts to see if you can reduce noise in a particularly noisy audio track. You can also set an equalizer here. You can change it to something default, like say uh, music enhance or hum reduction, and it will show you what it's done here or you can adjust yourself and lower and raise different frequencies of the sound. And you can simply turn it off like that. And as before you can also normalize the clip volume to bring uh, lower levels of volume up to a, a level that would make sense for the video. Now as before you can have multiple layers of audio. So for instance I can have this bit of audio that's attached to the video itself and I can bring in extra bits here and add them either to the entire project or to adjust this track here. And you can see it's placed it there below. And I can do adjustments there as well. And I can continue to place extra pieces of audio like that. And you can see it places them on top of each other. And I can adjust the volume controls there. And in addition to that, adjust specific pieces of it here. So the ability to add special effects, filters, and also adjust specific sections of the audio or something we didn't have before in iMovie. You had to bring it into GarageBand in order to have that level of control. You can still bring it into GarageBand for even more control, but most of the reason for that is now gone that we can actually edit audio pretty well in iMovie 11. So I hope you like this look at editing audio in iMovie 11. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more videos? Just go to the MacMost.com website, click on the videos link at the top, and then you could browse all of the Mac, iPhone, and iPad videos by category.